but they are they exist because the universe is decaying not in spite of the fact the universe is decaying but also what's interesting about if you look at the basic physics of the universe going from the big bang to where we are today then the physics is driven by the fact that the universe began in an extremely ordered state. It was a very highly ordered system and it is tending towards a more disordered system at the moment. And that's called the second law of thermodynamics. What we strongly suspect, and, and I would say no, uh, is that in that process of going from order to disorder, complexity emerges naturally for a brief period of time. But it's a natural part of the evolution of the universe that you get a period in time when there's complexity in the universe. So stars and planets and galaxies and life and civilizations. But they are they exist because the universe is decaying, not in spite of the fact the universe is decaying. So our existence in that sort of picture is necessarily finite and necessarily time limited. And it is a remarkable thing that that complexity has got so far that there are things in the universe that can think and feel and explore it. And I think that is the answer. If you want an answer to the meaning of it all, it's that. You are part of the universe because of the way the laws of nature work.